students. So today we will know about contact and non-contact force. Okay? Which is types of force included in force and pressure chart. Okay? So we know students what is force. Force is nothing but the push and pull of an object. It is the external agent which can capable of change of state of rest or motion of a particular body. Okay. But sometimes what happens to students? Some force are there which can play their role whenever they are in contact. Okay. And some force are there without contact also they can play their role. The force which can play their role whenever they are in contact you can call as contact force students. Okay. Now example of contact force like muscular force. Let me provide an example. Uh, suppose you have a bucket, okay, which is full of water stones. Now, you are going to lift it up. So tell me, what is to be done? You have to hold the handle of the bucket and then you are going to lift it up. Okay? So, whenever you are going to lift it up, that means what? You have to hold the handle of the bucket. Without handling, you can't lift it up. So, that you have to direct uh, contact with the handle of the bucket. That means contact force. Okay? And muscular force is considered as contact force by students. Now, whenever you are going to lift it up, that means your muscle force is required for that particular purpose. Okay? So, it's called muscular force. So, muscular force is caused by the action of muscle. Okay? After that, we will know about frictional force. Now, uh, for example, I have a ball and I am going to pushing it on the ground. Okay? Now, whenever I am going to pushing it students, so, it will direct contact with ground, right? And ground will exert another force and which is opposite to that of the motion of the ball. Okay? And it is called frictional force. So, frictional force also included in contact force. Why? Because ball is directly contact with ground.